Different season, same outcome for Real Madrid. Success. But this season was one of the more challenging for Carletto since his return to Los Blancos. Here's why. Starting the season off with two ACL injuries in your squad is bad. And worse yet, when they are to your starting keeper and a center back in Courtois and Militant, who would be joined by David Alaba in ACL rehab by December. This meant Ancelotti was without three of his defensive pillars for the majority of this season. But when squad mates fall, others rise, such as Schuameni, Nacho, Rudiger, and Lunin. Where some clubs would crumble under these injuries, Real Madrid went on to break their single season clean sheet record and have the third best defense in Europe's top five leagues. In the attack, they had to pivot when Benzema decided to leave, meaning Real Madrid's shape would change multiple times throughout the season from their familiar 4-3-3 to a 4-4-2. Bellingham, Vinny Jr. and Rodrigo would step up with the goals while Premier League castaway Joselu is in the double digits for goals, including the two that sent Real Madrid to another Champions League final. We haven't even mentioned Kroos and his vintage final season yet, or that Endrick and Mbappe are going to be added to this stacked young squad. Things won't get any easier for Real Madrid's opponents for years to come.